Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Today's video is not a complete tutorial, rather it's an addendum to a previous tutorial that I just released today. So just today I released my uh, tutorial on the RGB color sensor and in that tutorial I debuted a program for RGB view which just displays the red, the green, and the blue reflected light intensities read by the color sensor using David Gilday's RGB color block. If you haven't already go see that video but in that video I reported encountering a problem with this view program where I was seeing really strange really high triple digit numbers that just weren't making sense when I was uh, reading some color samples and after I published the video a few considered people on my channel were very quick to uh, point out that I had actually made an error in my program which is the reason why this uh, why I was seeing these really weird numbers. I suspected in the video that it had something to do with the display and they confirmed my suspicion and were able to point to the specific place where the error was occurring and even suggested some ways that I can fix it. Now the problem that was occurring was that uh, since there's no erasing display command within this loop what happens is when I read a high intensity that ends up in a three digit number and then read a lower intensity that ends up in a two digit number the final digit of that three digit number ends up being printed alongside the two digits and that's why I'm getting those really really strange three digit numbers that just don't make any sense so the solution to this is to have some kind of way to erase all of those previous numbers that are being printed to the EV3 screen now just dropping an erase display block into this loop will make the screen flicker a lot and make it illegible however there's an easy way to correct this error and simply what you're going to do is go into this text merge block go into the C argument which we left empty and hit the spacebar a few times so I'll hit this five times we're adding five spaces worth of white space so in this block what it's going to do now is it's going to take the red label take the red value and then print a whole bunch of spaces after that so then the next time it goes around to print to the EV3 screen it's not going to carry over any extra digits it's just going to print uh, that space and we're always going to get accurate and correct values at all times and you can go ahead and do this for the green so double click this hit the space bar about five times and then go over here double click this hit the space bar five times and that's how you fix that really weird uh, triple digit error that we were seeing with the RGB view program so when you load it onto your EP3 brick you'll get accurate RGB values one of the questions I left open-ended in my previous RGB video is whether this block is legal for use in FLL and WRO. My friend Baz just checked the rulebook for First Lego League, and the RGB block is not legal for use in FLL in any form. So you cannot download the block and use it off of David Gilday's website, but you also cannot make your own version of this block using the developer kit. So in any way, shape, or form, whether you're downloading it or making it yourself, you cannot use the RGB block. It is simply not legal for use in FLL. You can only use the programming blocks that are included in the base EV3 software. No third party allowed. The RGB color sensor block is generally not allowed in WRO competitions. There are some exceptions, however. For example, one coach commented that in the WRO national final in Greece, the RGB block was allowed, but that's just a variation in regional rules and doesn't necessarily go for every region around the world. However, a good substitute for using the RGB color sensor block would be to use High Technics Color Sensor V2, which is legal for use in the WRO competition and can report RGB values. So that's a great alternative for WRO teams to use if they're looking to expand the number of colors their robot can detect. 